From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN New News. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us on the new news. I'm Augusta McDonald. Police have already written 94 reports of kids running away from home in Billings. That's just in the past three months. As MTN's Haley Monaco reports, a heartbreaking number of runaway teens become victims of human trafficking. Saying the name Shakaya Blue Harding has big meaning. Keeping her name out there is important for the missing woman's family after she seemingly disappeared from their world in July of 2018. That's all we want is just someone to say her name and know that she's out there. Shakaya Harding was 19 in 2018, a young woman just trying to figure out her place in the world while struggling with addiction. I was somebody that she could look up to. Her older brother, Michael Harding, last saw his sister in June of 2018, just a month before she vanished. I was not thinking that was the last day I was going to see her. Three years after her disappearance, Harding says his sister's case took a heartbreaking turn. Like, who knows where she could have gone. Family learned Shakaya may be a victim of human trafficking. These predators are out there and they're, they're waiting and it's tough. Probably 90% of our kids that come to our drop-in resource center um, have been trafficked, more survival sex. Georgia Katie sees this sad reality all too often. She's the executive director of Tumbleweed, a nonprofit that provides services to runaway, homeless, and vulnerable youth. There has been kind of a rash of runaways in Yellowstone County and missing folks on the, the missing person list. Katie says Shakaya was utilizing Tumbleweed services when she vanished. And she knows the dangers kids and young adults face. And within 48 hours of hitting the streets, you will be approached to be trafficked. It's a problem. Penny Ronning is also dedicated to fighting. So I'm the daughter of a trafficking survivor. So this has been the entirety of my life. Ronning started the Yellowstone Human Trafficking Task Force in 2016. Prior to then, Montana had just one federal conviction on human trafficking. Since then, we have had now more than 40 convictions at the federal level and more than 70 at the state level. But Ronning is adamant we can't just arrest our way out of this. She says there also needs to be a focus on those who pay for sex. Why do we have so many men in this state that are willing and able to pay $150 to $900 an hour to rape an individual. A nightmare running through our rural state as this family searches for answers through heartbreak. Yeah, the first year they had a birthday party, they had a cake. That was so hard. Continuing to say her name throughout the many years she's been gone. And that's all I want is to, is for her to know and for those people that are responsible to know is that we will never stop looking for her. As long as I'm alive, I would know I'll never stop. In Billings, Haley Monaco, MTN News. Hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. Now back at it we go. Our local forecast coming up. But first, what's going on across the U.S. of A. Today, your 48. The headlines, Mississippi Valley, Central Gulf Coast. Excessive rainfall and severe weather possible today. You can see down there around the Gulf Coast, just north of New Orleans, where that uh, brown shaded area, it's an enhanced risk, means there's a better opportunity for some tornado activity. Southern Texas, critical fire risk today. And across the Great Plains, frigid temperatures are hanging in there today. Now you can see that area of low pressure well off to our east that brought the snow and even some rain across the weekend. We still have a little bit of moisture streaming through. When's our next possible bigger system coming through to give us a chance of more moisture? We'll talk about that coming up here in just a bit. In Great Falls, Family Promise and several other nonprofit organizations hosted a Night Without a Bed awareness event this weekend. The goal of the event is to inspire the community to develop solutions to end homelessness in Great Falls. The organization advocates for the homeless in the area while educating about the root causes of homelessness. Family Promise is home to a shelter called The Promise Place. It has the ability to house two families at a time, allowing them the opportunity to work towards establishing jobs and stable housing. The Night Without a Bed event had several high school volunteers who helped facilitate the event and host games and activities promoting education. The organization is committed to children, homeless children and their families, and sometimes the families aren't even homeless. They're just 
challenge with their rent or they're facing eviction and we can come in and help mediate or help them financially. Sometimes folks that are actually homeless, uh, we can help them find housing because a lot of times it's just really hard to find housing. Family Promise is hoping to host events like these more often to continue advocating for the homeless. And in Beaverhead County, Montana Highway Patrol, uh, Beaverhead County Sheriff's deputies and Dillon Police arrested a man with a nationwide extradition warrant out of Mississippi. Officials say that MHP deputy came in contact with a motorist near Anaconda and again a short time later just outside of Butte. It was there when three people fled the car and the driver wasn't found. That's also when the car was reported stolen. Around 2 in the morning, Beaverhead County deputies located the car after it had slid off the interstate. Local charges are still pending for the man. And this could be a big week for some lucky lottery players. Tonight's Powerball jackpot skyrocketed to 800 million and climbing after no one matched all six numbers over the weekend. And tomorrow, the $1.1 billion Mega Millions jackpot is up for grabs. No ticket has matched all six numbers in that game since December 8th.